What is going on everybody? It is Big L here doing something that I haven't done in quite some time. As you can see, you have a team of Pokemon in front of you. And this was my PWO, which formerly WPF unretirement team. So I came out of retirement to play a season of draft league. Um, there are a couple reasons I decided to play. Um, one being that the, the powers that be, I stayed out of it, even though I am a mod in the league, I stayed out of it because I did not want the rules changed just so I could play, but it was kind of a decision made by the other people in charge. Hey, screw the vote that said everyone wanted Terra. We're going to, we're going to do no Terra. So big L can play. So I said I would play if we did. Um, because there are some Pokemon I want to try in Generation 9. Um, I was playing a little bit of ladder uh, whenever I had some time at work. Um, don't tell the people I work for. And, um, yeah, so we got the number one pick. And, surprisingly enough, with that number one pick, I decided to... I'm going to turn this music down in my ears just a little bit because it's loud. Um, I took Raging Bolt. Uh, Raging Bolt was basically the reason I wanted to come out of retirement. Um, I wanted to use this Pokemon. This Pokemon looked like a blast to use. Its stats are insane. And yeah, um, reached out to Lucky to help me draft because he wasn't going to play this season. He wanted the season off. Um, he's someone I know, you know, is really good. We have a, you know, I know he's good. Um, I know I can... I've kind of like bounced ideas off of him before in the past, so I know we kind of think a little bit the same. Uh, T obviously, I asked other people for help, you know, T4U, Shane, Caden, uh, the usual suspects <laughs> uh, that I reached out to for help through the draft. Um, originally, the plan was going to be as far as realistic expectations. Um, the realistic, the high-end realistic expectation, hope, well, not even expectation, the hope, was that Urshifu Rapid Strike would fall, um, and then we could take like, Urshifu Rapid Strike and either Pelipper or Politoed to go with Rain Team. Um, I've used Rain a little bit in BGC. Um, I think it was the LDL, I think that league. Uh, I had a little Rain Core, um, and I really enjoyed it. But I was going to lean full Rain Team. I, I, I was I was looking at looking at uh, enjoying that because I do think Raging Bolt is probably better in Rain. You can use that massive special attack stat to hit 100% accurate thunders. Um, and yeah, I was really looking forward to it. Weather ball in, in range really, really strong. But as you can see, that didn't happen uh, because Kronos took Urshifu, which Urshifu is really strong. I don't blame him one bit for taking it. I think he had the bottom wheel, um, so I don't blame him one bit. Urshifu is really strong. I was just really looking forward to, you know, uh, rain, rain boosted uh, surging strikes. As it got closer and closer, we were, we were looking at possibilities, and we were like, yo, what if we go, instead of rain, what if we go sun, and we take walking weight, go double dragon? Um, and so that's what we did. We went double dragon, and we went uh, walking weight and Torkoal with our with our next wheel. Um, so we had double dragons, walking weight, also, you know, steam, uh, steam eruption. Hydro steam in sun is really, really strong. Torkoal is the best sun setter um, in Generation 9, especially. Um, there was a little bit of talk about doing nine tails over Torkoal, but I was just like, no, I, I want the best, want the best sunset. If I'm going to go with sun, I've never done a weather team. Um, if I'm going to go sun, I want the best sunset. And so I went with, went with Torkoal. Um, after that, I was like, okay, um, if I want, if I got my sun team, if I got my sunsetter, I need my sun sweeper. So I went with Venusaur. Um, there was, again, with with this pick, there was some debate over, you know, maybe we should go maybe Shift Tree, maybe Victory Bell. But again, I feel the same way about this pick as I did about the Torkoal pick. If I'm going to take a Sun Sweeper, I want to take the best one. I want the best Aura Fill user, and that's Venusaur. Uh, Venusaur, a lot of good things. You know, you can run it bulky with Leech Seed and Sub. Um, also, can, can be run physical. Growth is a really, really strong move in the Sun. Just, just, just overall, it's just a very good Pokemon. Um, after that, I was looking at things that I needed. I wanted a, I wanted a ground immunity, and I, I wanted a defogger, and I wanted a, um, a dragon resist. So, with Mandibuzz, 
<coughs> just a great defogger. I didn't see a whole lot of more value in tier two after Raging Bull. I don't I don't think tier two is that has that much value in it. So I want to get those valuable Pokemon while we can. And we looked up and saw, saw that Clefable was still sitting there in tier one. I knew I could afford it. And uh, we, we took Clefable. Clefable does a lot of great things. You know, like I said, we were looking for that dragon immunity. Next up, I wanted to get a ground immunity. And uh, my team was looking really, really special. Um, so I wanted something physical, something hard, something to hit hard on the physical side. And that's where Miss Magius with Levitate comes in. You know, Miss Magius, strong Pokemon. Well, strong is not the right word. <laughs> um, and it helps, it helps me fill a speed tier that I had. Um, under under walking wake right around 100 and embor you know reckless flare blitz in the sun from this thing find a switch in thing is a menace um it's it's strong um it's it's widely regarded as the worst of the firefighting starting starters um and it's it's easy to understand why um but the thing the thing can put in a lot of work reckless like i said reckless flare blitz hits like a truck um, after that, I wanted to get a steel type, but I really didn't want to add another ground weakness. I was originally looking for Orthworm here, um, but it got picked. I want to say it got picked pretty pretty close to this pick. So we went ahead and went with Bronzong, um, Levitate, and I thought, you know, if I if I had a week where I wanted to bring Heat Proof, um, if I wanted a Fire Resist, another Fire Resist, I could bring it. Even though my team's full of Fire Resist, you know, I got... Torkoal, Embor, Walking Wake is a quad fire resist. So it's not like I was going to need the fire resist, but just in case. And then after that, I wanted another physical attacker. Um, so I took a Titan. I've never used a Titan. Um, I think the only Pokemon on this team that I've ever used before are Clefable and maybe Mandibuzz, maybe Bronzong. I know I've used Clefable before. I can't remember if I've used, I, I maybe have used Mandibuzz and Bronzong. I don't think so. But with, with, with the Titan, you get another strong physical attacker with Sheer Force. Um, also gets Thick Fat if you want it to be bulkier. Um, and, you know, you can run that Belly Drum, Belly Drum Ice Shard. I felt like a lot of weeks it could have been viable. Like, for example, against Shane's team, I thought it looked really, really good. I was like, man, if I can just get a Belly Drum off against that thing, against something on his team, I could maybe just win. And But, you know, he's a really good player. He's in finals for a reason. Um, he didn't allow it happen in our game um and then for for my tier six i went with sand slash um you know um i felt like it had a little bit of value in tier six um a ground type i didn't have a ground type um pure ground type so it gives me my electric community even though i like i said i've got plenty of electric business on the team but you know it gives me another spinner so that gives me two spinners and, two, and a defogger on the team and another stealth rock user if i needed to it gets spikes knock off swords dance stuff like that um so overall this was the squad overall i thought the team was just okay um i didn't think it was that good um i thought i thought it was better on paper than it was in practice i didn't eh. um raging bolt i would zero out of ten not use it again just being 100 percent honest i don't think the thing's good in draft um the problem is it's move pool like it's got great stats and then sun you get a special attack boost you hit everything you hit you, you your special attack stat is insane the problem is people prepare for that and they have an answer for it in a ground type or um an elect or something you know a steel type or a fairy type and it just <clears throat> i don't know I, 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 it didn't wow me at all um i probably wouldn't use it again and like whenever shane was drafting in the upl he asked me what i thought of it and i was like dude i hate it and he looked at the move pool and he was like, oh, yeah, great typing, great stats, shit, cool. And I wouldn't use it again, but that's just me. Maybe maybe in a Terra draft where you can get used in a Terra Blast with it. Um, I don't know, because that's my, that's my big problem. If the sun's not out, you have electric moves and drag moves. That's pretty much it. Um, so, yeah, Thunderclap's a cool move. I think I got one kill with it this season. Cool. Um... <clears throat> The, my favorite Pokemon on this team ended up being Embor. I loved that Pokemon. Dude, dude, uh, dude went crazy early in the season. Um, and then people started, like, prepping for it. <laughs> uh, after, like, the first three weeks, Embor got, like, two or three kills a week the first couple weeks. And then, like, people started preparing for it. And so it it stopped getting as much action in the, 
as many kills. Um, but <clears throat> um, I was surprised with the form of this video, but Clefable actually ended up with the second most kills on my team. And yeah, I say all the things I say about what about Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt tied for third on my team in kills. I I hate it. I don't. I would not again. I would not use it again. It's just it's typing and its stats are so good. Um, <clears throat> but Clefable actually ended up second on my team in kills. I think it and Venus were both tied. Um, it's a typical big elf team yeah, i i don't most of the time i don't end up getting super high kill leaders leader pokemon um unless i have something broken um <coughs> but um yeah like i think and what sucks is i was not able to get miss magius a kill this season um i like to get every pokemon on my team at least one kill but miss magius wasn't able to do that this season unfortunately i only brought it twice um, I just don't, I don't think Miss Maggie is very good. It's always, it's always really close to getting kills. Like, for example, both games against Midi, which, spoiler alert, that's who we lost to in the playoffs. Um, I, I calced Dazzling Gleam with, against Roaring Moon. Um, because, you know, you would think, hey, Miss Maggie isn't weak on the special, in, in special attack. Um, Roaring Moons, four times weak to Dazzling Gleam. You'd think it'd be able to kill a zero HP, zero special defense Roaring Moon at modest max special attack. And that, that the answer to that question is no. <laughs> so, it's just, it, 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 it's, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah. Um, but the, the only Pokemon that really blew me away on this team was Embor. Embor blew away my expectations. Clefable made me like it. The first time I used Clefable, I didn't care for it. And then, like I said, like I I wouldn't use Raging Bolt again. Uh, I maybe late if it's sitting there in tier two still later in a draft, but that's not gonna happen for some time because it's still new. And the typing is still really good, and the stats are really, the stats are really good. Overall, I think this team isn't very. Overall, like I said I don't I don't think this team. Is very good. Um, we went seven and five, uh, lost in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, we very easily could have been six and six. There was one week we got a hacks win. I think it was against Terra. It was the the Gold Dango Iron Valiant team. We got we got lucky. We got a we got a crit on Iron Valiant. Um, but other than that, if it wouldn't have been for that, we would have lost that game too. Um, do I think I'll play again? I probably won't play again anytime soon. Um, about halfway through the season, I remind I was reminded why. I stopped playing. Um, just, I don't want to do the prep every week. I don't want to do the scheduling every week. And that's not saying that people in the league were bad to schedule with. I think there was there was the the um, the one forfeit win. <clears throat> but aside from that, everyone was easy to schedule with. Uh, I've never had a problem scheduling with people, typically, um, unless something comes up. Um, but there was, like I said, there was the one... Um, forfeit but it is what it is you have that um but um i don't know I, and again i don't i don't want to keep changing the rules i don't i don't want the rules to change just for me i know that most people really enjoy Terra, and i'm in the minority so i'm i'm just happy i got to play once in gen 9 um like i said i don't i don't enjoy Terra. that could be a different video in and of itself if if you're actually watching this and you want me to talk about why i hate Terra. I'll make a, I'll make a, I'll make a video if you, if you comment down below. Um, but yeah, if, yeah, I don't, I don't want to there anyway. Um, but that'll do it for this video. Um, if you watch, thanks for, thanks for watching. I've rambled on for 14 minutes now and that's already longer than this video ever needed to be. I'm glad I came around of retirement. I don't know if I'll play again until gen 10 at the earliest. Um, but we'll see, you know, stranger things in this world have happened. Uh, T4U and Shane could drag me kicking and screaming into another season potentially. Um, but we'll see. But if you managed to watch this whole thing, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time, whenever that may be. Peace.